Sadly, there is a possibility that any one of us, regardless of age, gender, status or ethnicity, could at some stage have a criminal offence committed against us by a young person. Should you be unfortunate enough to be a victim of a crime, the last thing that you want to feel is victimised. After the crime, many thoughts or questions may have passed through your mind. It's quite understandable that you may have feelings of fear, anger and powerlessness and be wondering why this has happened to you. The experience may have left you anxious, depressed and feeling angry, annoyed and inconvenienced. But there is a way that you can regain control. A way that in a safe environment you can get back the personal power that you may feel has been taken away from you. An opportunity for you to ask questions. Questions that can give you closure. Questions that can help you regain confidence in our society. Help you to feel safe again. And by telling the offender how they made you feel, you may even help towards making them a better person and consequently our society a better place to live in. This opportunity for you is known as the Referral Order Panel. The panel considers restorative justice to be its main focus in attempting to confront the young person with the unacceptability of their actions and to engage them in restorative justice activity which seeks to make recompense to the victim and or society by a range of activities, tasks and requirements. It is a compulsory procedure for young offenders who, having pleaded guilty, are given a referral order and forms part of a contract of interventions. The panel consists of three members who are volunteers from the local community and also a member from the youth offending team. In addition, there will be the young offender, a representative from their family and yourself, together with a victim liaison worker for your support. The objective of the panel is to consider how and why the offences occurred and what can be done to stop it happening again. You will have an opportunity to let the offender know and understand the harm that their offence has caused you and its subsequent consequences. You will also have an opportunity to have your say in how the offender may make amends. There will be no reason for you to feel afraid or intimidated, as the process of the meeting is carefully managed by a facilitator. Evidence shows that contrary to myth, the offender is usually more worried about the meeting than you, the injured party. Within a few months of moving to a new area, my car was vandalised on my drive. Not a good experience. I felt, why me? Have I offended somebody? Has somebody got it in for me personally? But fortunately, within a few weeks, the police caught the culprits, who turned out to be not the hardcore villains of my imagination, but two sad, troubled 12-year-olds. I was given the opportunity to attend a referral order panel, and for me it was a good experience. It helped me realise that this was an act of random vandalism, and that they weren't after me personally. I was also given an opportunity to have input into their contract of reparation. This will make them understand that there are consequences to their actions and hopefully, in the longer term, help them to become better citizens. Reparation is an important part of restorative justice. The victim will be given an opportunity to ask the offender to do some work, either for them, if deemed appropriate, or for the community as payback for the offence. This payback is known as reparation and it will be written into the offender's referral order contract. Reparation encourages the offender to take responsibility for the harm and loss that they have caused and can include such tasks as litter picking, ground clearance or where appropriate they will undertake direct reparation for the injured party. The panel can also draw on a large range of further interventions and will discuss with you those which are appropriate. This will be tailored to the individual offender and written into their contract, which is legally binding. Going to the panel has like helped me become a better person because before I was at the panel, I was quite obnoxious and like in your face, you know, oh, I'm 17, I can do this, I can do that. But having someone actually talk to me like I was worth something kind of changed my outlook on life and who I am and it's made me address the issues I was facing and then coming face to face with a victim it was like 
have impacted their life to such a substantial level that, you know, they felt like they couldn't progress to what they wanted. We at Dudley Youth Offending Service have found that when victims attend panel, it gives them the opportunity to actually meet directly with the young person, express their views and let them know how they feel. And this ultimately leads to them having closure and can move on with their life. I've been a panel member for 11 years and I always find it very useful to the victim if they attend a panel because they can come face to face with the young person who committed the offence against them. They can ask questions and we can reassure them that measures will be put into place so that the young person won't go near their home or their family or commit an offence against them again. Um, also, we keep, um, keep them informed of what's going on with the young person and the victim liaison officer will keep in touch with them and keep them up to date. By attending a referral order panel, I felt less of a victim. I felt more in control. It gave me closure. Now you have the same opportunity. Don't waste it.